How's it going, YouTube, and everybody that watches my channel? Anyway, um, so we figured out use a bat box for the entry level storage unit. So we went ahead and made a real quick uh, solar panel here on the back side of our little mountain hole and set up some cables feeding power into the bat box that stores power as it collects it. And then as you use the machines, it takes it from the thing and puts it in there. So like right now we're waiting for turn daytime because we're making some tin or and then we're going to smelt into the electric furnace so we can make more batteries and make another bat box so I can make a water mill tower. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so real quick, this is how you make the um, bat box that you need. It's you know, the wooden planks up here, the cable, three batteries, and then the wooden planks on the bottom, and you get yourself a bat box. So that's that. Bat box. Yay, kind of a weird name. Maybe it's really scientific and I just don't know, but to me it sounds weird. So now we're going to go, oops, we got my water mills. Water, water, water mills. And watermelon. Okay, be right back. Alrighty, it is like a good three hours later since I last recorded because these stupid water towers took us forever to figure out how to do. We tried to do it down in a pool like underneath our thing. I think we showcased it in another video but there's just a little pond full of water there. We tried to make it in there and for some reason it kept like bugging out like the um, bat box we have here it would like charge up when it wasn't even connected it was just really like weird and we couldn't figure out why so we went in single player and in the creative mode we messed around with a couple different builds to try and figure out how we can do this to make it work and apparently the major problem we had was we didn't have the bat box close enough to the water uh mills themselves so we have it like set up here in the middle and then we have just the one other uh, cable that goes down right into there and apparently with the regular cables it doesn't output enough power through longer cables to be effective so like you have to make it so that they're really close so this actually gains the power needed from the water mills so what we did was in our little power room we decided to move it closer so we didn't have to waste cables bringing it all the way up we just kind of cut out a little grove here. We're going to use glass to throw it off. And then a bucket of water is going to go inside. And it's basically going to fill up the room with water. So it's going to be kind of like a water chamber. Sort of not necessarily a water tower. But a chamber. It works. So that's going to be the plan here. We're going to show you how it's going to work. Xerophis is going to fill it up with water I think here in a second. Just like that, and then oh, you can the power. there you go. I don't know if you can hear it on the recording, but here, now mind at least, and you click on the thing, and there it goes. Gain power. It's not super super fast, but the nice thing about the water mill towers is that they constantly give power, like solar panels that only gains power during the day, and you know the windmills. I believe they have to just be super high up in the air. So, yeah, it depends on the Minecraft win. With the water power, no matter what, this is going to continuously gain water, or uh, power. There's nothing I can do to stop it unless I take away the water. So it's kind of nice. So we only have four set up. I mean, imagine if, you know, you use, like, I mean, you can use the same thing, four on each side, but have it go, like, up one more and have four more on top of it, so you have eight. You know, you can do that too. So the bat box here will be gaining need more. Or, you know, it'd be getting faster than it is now. So that's how it is now. Now uh, the water looks a little bit goofy right now, but it's no big deal. And close it off. As you can see, we used a pumpkin for light instead of torches. It's pretty cool. And bam, we're done. Now it's just like it's in there and it's set away. And then we have the cables here to power up the other machines that we're going to be, uh, Using, there's still an induction furnace we need to make. That's an upgrade to the electric furnace here and the uh, glass that I salted. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry that it's a boring video with just the watermelon tower, but we literally spent like three hours trying to figure this out. So hopefully this helps uh, out a lot because I even YouTube searched 
myself to see if somebody explained it because I was so frustrated that there wasn't any. So, that's how you do it. Just make sure it's really nice and close and you have water even if you do it inside a lake. You just have to uh, make the cable and the bat box really close together from the water to the tower and stuff. And I did test it. You can run cable. The, these cables are pretty long away from the bat box without them losing power. I think it did like 30 blocks and it managed to transfer everything from one bat box to another almost instantaneous. So you don't really have to worry about that if you get the materials to make the cables. So that's it. See you guys next time.